All right, welcome back to another episode. I am finding myself more and more pumped. Cannot wait to get back to finish this playthrough. That's why I've been putting out videos just like left and right. We yesterday we finished the Augury Rock. We ascended our ascendance, as they called it. I always thought it was called ascension, but in the in that cutscene they said ascendance. I thought that was weird. Um, yeah, so we're in the Dragon's Lair. I was all ready to do this mission today and then just finish out the Crystal Desert, but it was brought to my attention through the YouTube comments that there are two, actually two other uh, non-mission outposts. I found one, the Destiny's Gorge. There's actually two others that I had no idea existed, and I actually had to go online and look up where they were. And there's one over this way, and then there's one up this way. So we're actually going to go back to Augury Rock. I thought we were finished with the desert, but it pulled us back in. Uh, that's okay. I'm pretty pumped because I've never been to these areas. So we're just going to grab a quick party. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. This one, this one, this one. And one more. Let's take the fighter. And... Oh, I need to get my skills back up. Uh, we were using Domination. Man, if you did not watch the last episode, we discovered this Wastrel's Worry just totally obliterates the ghostly commanders along with the Desert Worms. Pretty awesome. Um, but we're going to go back to Illusion, I think. Okay, we have our skill bar set. And let's let's do this. Uh, what well, the first area is called like Seekers. No, no, no. Heroes audience. I briefly glanced at where to go. I know the basic direction, so should be able to get there. How do I still not have? Hopefully, we get three more Minotaur horns. It would be nice to get max armor, at least some max armor gear here. Wow, that distracts me, really. These scarab nest builders, they drop um, traps, which are very annoying. I moved, last episode, I also moved the skill bars down to the middle. I really like it. Especially if you're playing with like big monitor. It, Saves your eyeballs a little bit, I noticed. I might even move the enemy health down too. I'm kind of sick of like looking up all the time. Oh, we got one more Minotaur horn. We might be able to get those gloves after all. Yeah, we're just gonna head. I think it's I think it's exactly right there, so we're just gonna head down this way. Yeah, this is right. Just getting our degeneration on tabbing through the enemy, cycling through them. You want some too, Minotaur? The channeling is pretty good. We're using it for our just co having constantly, constantly having an enchantment up for the for the health boost we get from Alicia's skills. Ooh, a mesmer boss. I think we're getting about that that stage of the game where we need to be keeping we need to be keeping a signet of capture with us at all times. Well, oh, that was rough. 
I don't even know what skills he's using, but I need to prioritize the elementalist hydras first, I think. Got him. Oh, he got the fireball off. So he's just using, he's using pretty much the same skills I'm using. Phantasm, clumsiness. Chack, hack, shawack. <laughs> I think they had fun naming this Hydra. They're like, okay, it needs to be three syllables. They all need to rhyme. What are you going to name it? Um, what do we get for salvaging? I think wands usually give it iron ingots. Yeah, very good money there. I want to show you maybe this episode or next how much money you get from selling materials. Really good. Like we're already almost up to 20 platinum. We're going to have no problem getting our max armor now. 20. I want to keep clumsiness up on these guys. Oh, this well strips enemies. It strips us of all of our enchantments, and we cannot be the target of new enchantments. And how how do I have protective spirit on? That's weird. Yeah, how does that work? Um. I remember back in the day, you used to be able to come over here and farm these desert griffins. It used to be a pretty fun farm a long time ago, I remember doing. Get it with my warrior. You used to be able to stack, like, all of your armor skills. So you would just stack a bunch of plus armor skills and then have, like, gladiators defense or something to get infinite energy. And you would just tank. You just tank the griffins, the warrior griffins. What's going on back there? It's taking you guys so long. Let's get to getting. All right, uh, we're heading that away. What is that? Did you see that big statue-looking thing? Cool looking. Maybe it'll fall over like that big statue we saw the other day. Sneaking her along here, trying avoiding some enemies. We're now level 20, so we're not really, we're not really that interested in fighting every single battle. Let's let's interrupt that eruption. Oh, he got that off. Look at that channeling energy. Handling's really strong whenever they group up like this on top of you. Probably shouldn't have worded it that way, but I said what I said, okay? Oh. I was way late on that interrupt. Alright, let's go around these guys. There it is. There's the area over there. And what is that weird formate? Oh, it, it yeah, it is a statue. Those are legs. There's the head over there, the arm over there. I can make it out now. Guess I could have used the teleporter switch. Teleport down there. I feel like we went a pretty fast way, the route. Let's just make a run for it. Go, go, go. 
For this area, Hero's Audience. And apparently there are some quest um, quest givers here. Or skill skills. Skill quest givers. The main reason we're coming over here. Otherwise, we wouldn't really care that much about it. Crichton attire. Man, this is the... We need three more bleach carapaces. I have so many collector items that I've been collecting. Can't believe we haven't gotten them yet. All right, here we go. Zratha core. What do we want? Oh, this isn't a. All right, we are ascended now, so we can actually change our class by making these quests. Yeah, we might. Can we change back though? So this is the necromancer this is the necromancer quest huh let's pick it up i don't want to lose my elemental i don't think we lose it yort the bronze that's who we want to talk to yort i'm pretty sure you know i'm just guessing but yort's a very strange name i'm Guessing one of the developers names Troy and he wanted to be in the game. So he just put his name backwards How much you want to bet? Bet you that's what it is. Okay, we get guild and flame burst. That looks good All right, we're doing some quests now. We're gonna get the necromancer secondary and We're gonna try and find this sword Prophet's path. Are they both in Prophet's Pass? Yes, they are That's cool if we can um we can change between secondary professions. Okay, that's the necromancer and the sword is way up there. So let's just do the necromancer one and then we will warp up to Amnoon Oasis and then go do the sword one. No point in running all that way, I think. Oh. Let me go back to this one. Necromancer's Path. So we need to... Um, we need to fight a boss, I think. It's rough. A lot of spells going on. Not really able to interrupt them. Too slow. Ah, I missed it. Let's just keep let's just worry about degeneration. Let's not worry too much about interrupts. I notice when I'm focusing too much on interrupts, I'm not doing much DPS. We just need to head straight east. Is that east? Yeah. Compass was looking weird up there. It's a worm. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had Wastrel's Worry for this guy. They take... They have that really shortened... It's like half... Hex length or something like that. Oh, he's not going under underground though, so. Got that damage going. Nailed it. I think we can head south. No, I don't want to go this way. I think we're going to risk going a dead end or something. Ooh, Jade Mandible. Collector's item somewhere. Be nice to get three more of those bleach carapaces, though, from the devourers. Get out of here with a fully full armor 
chest piece. Look at that. Our armor is only 39. This is like armor we got back in Ascalon, I'm pretty sure. Ouch. Get these interrupts off. I'm not making Alicia's and Lena's um, job very easy. Having this level 39 armor. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's a lot more enemies coming back this way than we fought on the other way. Might speed some of this up also. So don't be alarmed. Just trying to keep the video under 30 minutes. Hug the walls. Should take us straight to the necromancer's path. Then that means if we go back to Destiny's Gorge, there's going to be another quest giver there too, right? Dreaming Claw. Yeah, we might check Destiny's Gorge too. There should be some profess professor, profession um, quest over there. Wow, what's going on? Look at that crazy battle going on. Are they even doing damage to each other? Oh yeah. They killed the griffin. Alright, there's the griffin. Sacred griffin of Amnoon. I was about to say, there's a lot of bosses. This boss is different. This boss is part of a quest. Alright, let's regroup. Get ready to interrupt this fool. I'm guessing he's probably like a smiting. No, he's protection. Nice interrupt. Oh, I missed that one. I need to know when it's like when they when they're casting it in the middle of my casting. I need to know when it's too late so I don't waste like that. Still getting used to it. All right, Necromancer's quest done. Boom. So let's test this out. We're going to go see if we can become a Necromancer. And if we do, can we go back to Elementalist? Test it out. So, you are Mesmer. Nothing can change that, but you have shown yourself worthy of mastering. One secondary. More than one. Okay, so more than one. That, that hints that we can change. If you make this change, you will lose all elemental screws until you return and change your profession again. Uh, uh, let's test it out. So what happens? Oh, okay, we can just we can just change. <laughs> I feel like back in the day, does anyone remember this? Like, was it a was it always a change like this? Because I feel like back in the day, whenever you changed your secondary, it was semi permanent. Because I remember I had my warrior elementalist. And when I changed to warrior monk. I was so bummed out that I missed. I lost all my skills that I deleted that character. <laughs> I hope. I hope that's. That was just me being a noob. Or, or I mean I hope that. I hope that they. That was the original plan. And they changed it to where you can. Change secondaries. Anyway. We can change secondaries now. So that's cool. So we have some. It looks like we have some necromancer skills too. A few. Just some blood magic. And some death magic. I don't even know where we got them from. But we can get some mini minions if we wanted. 
we're not going to right now, but it's cool. All right, let's just take, let's go up to M Noon Oasis and then do this skill quest real quick. Um, misplaced sword. Oh, it was like somewhere up here. This one should be fast. We're gonna head... Oh, we can't go that way. We need to head like up this way. Snake around there. Ouch. Cycle through it. Let's just get as much degeneration as possible. That's all we can do in this situation. We're a single target damager. Not an AoE. Orion would have been real nice in this situation. That's for sure. What do we get for salvaging this? Bones. But we did discover bones actually are super valuable for some reason. They're like worth 400 gold for stacks of 10, selling them to the merchant. So that's a lot of gold. Look at that. That's like 14, 1200 gold or whatever. Is my math correct on that? Write down in the comments if I ever make any math mistakes. Check my math. Okay, got that one. Every, I mean, we can't interrupt everything, but every interrupt we do get off is is, you know, that's less damage my party's taking. It's a win. Oh, when did we, when did we aggro these guys? Let's get up close, actually, to make use of this, um, make use of this channeling. Get this energy bonus. What's going on? They're like in the rock. How's that? Is this a hidden, like a hidden path or something? How are we inside this rock? Creepy. We're earthbenders now. Man, there's just so many enemies. Right now, I'm just pushing buttons, basically. Just too many. doing most of our who's doing most of our dps i guess it's me and don him and stefan oh can we not go up that way okay we need to take the teleporter i guess Yeah, we need to... Yeah, I thought... I guess I was mistaken. I thought we could go up there. We should have started from Augury Rock then, I guess. Whatever. We'll get there eventually.
good gold drops. Getting like 10 and 20 gold per drop. That ain't nothing. Be serious. I think the developers got a little too happy with putting these mobs popping up in random places. Obviously inspired by Zerglings in... They're like a mixture of Zerglings and those face huggers from Half-Life. Right, so let's, let's make little creepy spider things. Oh, these give you iron ingots for sure. Oh, steel ingots. That's worth a lot too, I think. Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, man, I clicked it twice. Stupid thingy. My mouse didn't change targets there. Oh, did we go through? Yes. All right, let's head up this way. Looks like we need to go like through here around up there. Now once I once I put these double um these double degeneration skills on I can kind of just forget about them. They're, they're as good as done. Ooh, highly salvageable. 23 iron ingots. That's crazy. Dang, that's a lot of gold. Cootie sizzle horn. Come on, come on, freaking arena net. Are you, did you, oh, it's Koodle. That's not much better. <laughs> like, like, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> that name is, a, that name is ridiculous. Someone, like, that's not a random name generator, I don't think. Someone typed that in. Hmm, we need a Necromancer Minotaur boss. What shall his name be? I want to know who's responsible for this name. <laughs> that's ridiculous, man. That's too much, dude. My name will strike fear into my enemies. I am Koodle Sizzle. <laughs> That's silly, man. We just need two more Minotaur horns and we can get some max max defense gloves. That'd be real nice. We can't put any insignia on. Like, we, we wouldn't be able to put the armor plus 10 that we have on these, but we could put that uh, disease and poison reduction rune on. Minotaur hide. This is not what we need, but okay. Almost there. These exploration videos end up being much longer than the mission videos. I would like to knock out both of these places in one go, but I might not be able to do that. Wait, how do we get up there? Surely we don't have to take that teleporter. Oh, I think we can go down there in that little oasis. That looks right. Why are you guys attacking me? I just just 
just defeated your master, Master Koodle. We need to go down here and up there. It definitely, it definitely would have been faster had we started at Augury Rock. I just, you know, I was, I was imagining a straight shot. Big mistake. Never that simple. Really cool level design. Here we go again. Really think they knocked it out of the park with the desert uh, map design. Ancient remains. We're getting a sword? Is that what we're doing? Ceremonial family sword. What what skin did they use for this sword? Fiery dragon sword, of course. Oh man, remember the fiery dragon sword? Everyone wanted one of those when this game came out. They were worth so much. Guilt. Domination skill. For six seconds, the next time target foe casts a spell that targets a foe. That's a mouthful. The next time target foe casts a spell that targets a foe. So basically, this is this is for anti-monks. The spell fails and you steal up to five energy from that foe. That's a good one. Oh, there's that well of profane. Exploit the nearest corpse, create a well of profane. For eight seconds, foes in that area are stripped of all enchantments and cannot be the target of further enchantments. 50% failure. Maybe that's why that I was able to have that protection spell from uh, Lena, but protective spirit. Maybe the enemy doesn't have death magic uh, above level four or even at level four. Above level four. So you need level 5 in order to use this perfectly. 25 energy though, that's pretty steep. Not going to use that. Oh wait, what if I change to Elementalist? Do I just miss out on that spell? Ah, I can only get the reward from one... One uh, secondary profession. That's it. Okay, next up, we're going to go from Augury Rock again. And we're going to head up here. Go up that way. We need to go through the salt flats, I believe. Somewhere up here. Couldn't get five Minotaur horns, really? I'm really tempted to just run this, but I don't think we'll survive. Okay, we're here, teleporter, and then the exit's right there. One, three, two, four. Ta-da. Salt flats, that's where we need to go.
I don't know how they're getting... I don't know how they're getting, um... So much AoE degeneration just from the two of them. What are they casting? Power Drain, Phantasm... And that's it. Oh, I want that Kang. Whoops. I want that cane. Oh, it's all the way over there. It's free gold. Not a bad staff, but not a great or not a bad weapon. Not a great weapon. Okay, salt flats. We just need to head straight north, um, west, I believe. Up this way. Another decapitated statue. Or at least a buried statue. And a collector. What's he collecting? Shriveled eye? How many shriveled eyes do I got? Two. Ugh. So many. I don't have any completed stacks except forgotten sh seals. And I have not found any forgotten seal collectors, I don't think. Wow, I just... I disrupted his distracting... Interrupted his distracting shot. Impressive. Ouch. Ooh, Bleach Carapace. I need two more. Take a look. Oh, it's gloves. Eh. I think we're not going to get any items before we get out of here. Where should we go? Let's just go west, I guess. That looks pretty cool. Just sightseeing, basically, at this point. Alright, let's fight. Okay. Is this the right way? Well, there's a teleporter up there. That's probably where we need to go, honestly. Take a look. Yeah, it looks like we have to take these bridges, actually. A higher elevation up there. Casting time's too fast. Vuk Fumble. Mesmer Scarab. Why are they attacking me? They came like way off screen to fight me. Jonk Shuffle. Like, come on. The names are not that good. Vuk, Fumble, Jonk, Shuffle. The next one's gonna be like... What's the next one gonna be? Let me guess. Uh... Like... Dorm... Dorm... Dork... Flomble. Something like that. Is there a boss over here? I can make names up too. Boss names. Oh, it's just the two of them.
never gonna never going to be able to interrupt phantasm is too fast okay man there's like so many chests I should have brought some keys Pretty soon though, we'll be able to get max I max weapons, max armor. Three, four, two, one. Three, four, two, one. A dust trap is a really good one. Blind blinds my warrior for like seven seconds, something like that. Ooh, bleach carapace. How many we got? We just need one more and we can get a max armor chest piece. Can we do it? Okay, we're at a resurrection shrine. That's a good sign. Seeker's passage. We made it. 46 seconds. Dang, this, this video is long. I'm gonna have to try and trim it down. No, go, 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 go. All right, what mission or what we got here? Looks like a monk, monk's path. of souls that's a pretty scary name and who's this guy oh this looks like a quest giver ether lord and signet of agony that's a good one and then who's this ranger A uh, creature the centaur is called Ixthosheth. That's a that's a mouthful right there. Just pick them up. We don't have to do them all right now. I do want to do to finish this mission or this video. I want to do the belated betrothal. Find out what has become of Terza's beloved Chebar. Chebar sounds almost like. A uh, bad word in Korean. Uh, we need to go. I'm pretty sure this is like a mountain or something. So I bet we're going to have to go like around this. Looks like. I'm guessing. Just, just because, you know, of course. We're going to head north. Go around this big rock. Maybe... Maybe we'll head that way. No, we'll go north. Follow my instinct. Your first, your first guess is usually the correct one. I'm curious about what Ether Lord does. I don't that that skill doesn't ring any bells. Holy cow. This is actually we need to be careful here. Ah, I missed that one. Desiccated Hydra Claw. We did see a... We saw a uh, collector for that. And it was just not really good weapon. So I'm not really pumped about this one. 
this is our fifth one too so we could pick up we find a desiccated hydro claw collector we could trade it in for something i guess This is rough. Yeah, I think we're gonna wipe here. Oh, not at all. We're fine. Totally fine. Just Claude died, but that's par for the course. Yep, I was right. We got to angle down here. Got to go into this little spot. What does this guy got? Jade mandibles? <laughs> we got one. Let's see what he's got. I always like to dream. Imposing mask. Domination mask. Not bad, not bad. Okay, just head straight south and then we'll find we just got to find out what's become of her so i don't think there's any boss or anything oh here's a boss wrapped parn frag let's take out the elementalist hydra first He's really got some good healing. Ah. Needed to interrupt healing breeze for sure. Because his healing breeze counters my degeneration. We'll get it this time. Oh, come on. There you go. Almost. Okay. Looks like we just got to get to this teleporter switch and we'll make it there. Oh. Just let these guys fight it out. I'm so sick of these enemies, actually. If I go through the teleporter, this henchman will follow me. So it's not mandatory that I fight that. Okay. Um, one, three, four, two. You guys doing all right? Get out of here. The bar, it's you. Urza's ghost has sent you. Oh, my beloved, blah, blah, blah. Hellish place beyond bearing. Perhaps the ring will give her some small comfort. All right. She's a ghost, though, remember? You can't put on the ring. Maybe it's a ghost ring. Okay, Ether Lord, you lose all energy. Okay, not a good start. But for seven seconds, target foe suffers minus two energy and you experience plus two energy. So you would want to use, when would you want to use this? You would want to use this at the end of your, um, like you, uh, at the end of your combo. So you get your energy down to very low. Like, let's say you got five energy left. You cast this 
then that negates the the disadvantage and you immediately start regaining energy faster that's a pretty good one i like that let's try that instead of energy tap plus it has a 20 cooldown reduction or recharge rate so actually we could use it more often I like that. Signet of Agony. You suffer from bleeding for 25 seconds. All nearby foes take 10 damage. So yeah, if you wanna if you need something that benefits that that procs on your sacrificing health or procs on having conditions on yourself, that's a pretty niche skill, I guess. Alright, we did it. We did the two um, skill quests. We picked up Necromancer as our secondary. If we wanted to, we could... Let's just go to Destiny's Gorge real quick and see. I'm guessing this is Warrior and something else. Just Warrior. And we get... Yeah, if we want to become Warrior secondary, we'll do that. We got some options. Oh, if I have two more, I can get an max mask <laughs> i'm just dreaming there all right let's go back to dragon's lair uh we might we might do those quests to get the other secondaries we might not we'll see uh but next episode for sure we're doing the dragon's lair stay tuned for that uh hopefully you got a, you enjoyed this mission i had never i've never been to those areas i don't think ever so that was news to me whenever I, the comments pointed out that I missed them. If you ever notice that I missed something, please point it out in the comments. I, I read every comment. I respond to every comment. So anyway, next episode, The Dragon's Lair. Peace. <laughs>